Hello and welcome back to Pleasant View. This is going to be the last episode of um, Wednesday. So after this we're going to move over to Thursday. But before then we're going to meet up with Lilith Vicious and follow along on her day. And she lives over here together with her friend Ophelia and her husband and their children of course. All right, so here's the house, and um, it was a little while ago, but uh, if you recall, I think it was the first episode in Wednesday, Angela's episode, Mary Sue actually went to visit with Lilith, so this is uh, right after she's been here technically, <laughs> although of course some time has passed since then. Lilith is alone at home with the kids for now. Both Ophelia and um, Johnson are at work, but um, Ophelia will soon be coming back from work. So for now, Lilith is left alone with the toddlers here, and um, Aramis has actually learned all of his toddler skills. He's, he was actually potty trained by Lilith. But Hope, on the other hand, hasn't learned any of the skills. So that is something that Lilith can... Um, work with her on. She's a little bit hungry, but the, the toddlers are feeling pretty good so far anyway, so I think that uh, she can take this time to uh, prioritize teaching Hope some skills. And uh, I have learned to walk locked in. That's usually the one that I start with, so I'm gonna go with that one. I think maybe she's already started teaching her. And of course, uh, last time when Mary Sue was here, she got to meet Hope for the first time. And um, she also sent some money to Lilith after that visit. So that she actually has some, um, some funds on her own. Mary Sue's wishes was that she would get somewhere to live on her own. So that she doesn't have to um, live on um, Ophelia's good graces <laughs> or um, so that she doesn't have to be freeloading here. Oh, the kid is going somewhere. <laughs> ah, out to the leaf piles, of course. Gonna go out and play. I think that Lilith is gonna see that and uh, have to rush after him. <laughs> he shouldn't be outside alone. Oh, bless you Lilith. Yeah, and looks like Hope is uh, tired, so she's crawling to Aramis' bed, so I think she's gonna go back to her own bed instead. I should probably look into their um, need, need uh, rewards here, and fair enough. Aramis hasn't received any of them, so I'm just gonna give him all of them. And uh, same for Hope, although she is missing one point that she needs for the last one. She's gonna get those as soon as she learns some toddler skills, no doubt. Yeah, so let's bring this little guy inside and give him something to eat. So what I was going to get to is that um, as soon as um, Ophelia arrives back home, um, which should be now actually, Lilith is going to um, put her and the Hope stuff together and um, move out into their own house. So that... Uh, the family can finally have their stuff back. <laughs> Need to have a relax and then she can make the bed. Um, okay, <laughs> Ophelia was promoted apparently. So I haven't given her the job stopinator. Is uh, Johnson also missing that? Yeah, he is. So maybe he will also get promoted. I should really give all of them that. I'm going to have to bring Ophelia's job level down again. I'm going to take out the sim blender. There we go, record store clerk. She gets the job stopinator and so do the others. And uh, yeah, it won't help Johnson, but he doesn't have the skills anyway to get promoted, so that's fine. But he should have one nonetheless. Right, good. So now... Um, but yeah, their um, needs were reset, actually. But I think I can do that. And now that she's home, then um, yeah, 
Lilith can go ahead and pack up her things and move. Good, and I think maybe I can get Hope out of bed, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. No, I can't. I can error her out of the bed though. Here we go. And then I'm putting everything in there. I'm not sure if the acoustic guitar is Lilith's or Ophelia's, actually. Uh, I thought that they had one each, but... Yeah, I think that Ophelia is supposed to have a keyboard and stuff as well. And... Yeah, Lilith is definitely supposed to have a keyboard, so I don't know really what has happened there. Um, but I think I'm gonna... Um, Give them some money to buy that back because I, I don't see why they don't have them. Yeah, so let's just... Um, I'll just cash in them twice. There we go. And then um, Lilith can grab that one and that one. Ophelia can keep this. Yeah, I think I also want her to have a keyboard as well. So um, I'm gonna give her them another catching. Can grab that one. I'm gonna put it in her inventory for now. Looks like she's been uh, buying a um, record player here from Dirk's shop. I <laughs> uh, wonder if they have a stereo already. Doesn't look like it, so it would be nice to put it in actually. Yeah, maybe in this corner or something. Yeah, that works, I think. Right, I was also thinking about toddler toys. Um, I think I'm going to bring this for Hope. And Aramis can keep these two things. And yeah, that's uh, that's basically everything that Lilith has. Uh, not much. And I think she also had some uh, loans. That makes it impossible for her to um, have enough money for... Um, Buying a house, but um, let me see here. So check money, bank accounts. Oh, she actually has a 10,000 plus. That's interesting. So if she... Um, hmm, to do this. I think that if she withdraws everything. And she can also take out a loan now that she doesn't have anything. She has zero on her account. If I take out a loan for um, trying to think of the value of the house, I think she should be fine with a 10,000 loan. So then she should have 20,000 plus. And then I'm going to have them move out. Find own place. Great, and she's bringing hope. And then she's going to take a portion of this with her, so I'm gonna just keep in mind that it's almost 28,000 when she leaves. Uh, okay. Not sure what happened now, because now there was some sort of error when she was moving out and she's still here. And Hope is still here. That was weird. Uh, and concerning. <laughs> okay, I... Um, hmm. I mean, she's... Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure what to think of this. No money disappeared either, so it looks like it was just interrupted. Oh god. Um, hmm. Can I see if I can summon her back in and redo it? Yeah, she's not even in her own household. No, I think it just worked out. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna say... Uh, okay, I can't save. <laughs> I can't save either. Okay, I guess I'll just have to redo everything instead. <sighs> Wonderful. Well, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So let's try this again. Find own place. I'm gonna... Keep an eye on Hope as well, because I have a theory that she was in a toddler bed 
when I try to move them out. And uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just in case that was the issue. She's sitting in the middle of the floor here crying instead. So her um, aspiration is super low. I actually don't know. Yeah, oh, right. It was because there was a fire last time. So that's why it's so, so red. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully it works this time. Okay, good. This time it worked. And it went down from um, almost 28,000 to 18,000. So she took 10,000. But she should have taken 20. So uh, I'm going to send 10,000 after her. I'm going to use Monique's computer for that. And um, bank online, transmit money to household funds, Simbin. And it's going to be 10,000. Because now that they have moved out, they're in the bin. Uh, they're not a playable family, technically. So that's how I, am. I have to do it. I'm going to sort by friendship. So you get Lilith at the front. There she is. So now Lilith has 10 more thousands of simoleons in her household funds. And yeah... That leaves um, Ophelia and um, Johnson with some money as well. And of course, uh, their plans have been for a while now to get a bigger family, <laughs> have more children. Uh, Ophelia's had this want locked in for a long time. Johnson hasn't had that um, big want, really. But uh, he does so enjoy his alone time with his family. And Lilith has really been butting in to their business here. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to leave them here. Um, save this lot and uh, yeah we're gonna meet up with Lilith and here we are so this was of course the house that she lived in previously and um, here they are so they have um, okay 19,000 uh, to work with so she should have gotten a little bit more looks like but um, I guess I'll just um, cashing her twice or something when I've moved her in but the house that I thought that they should move into is uh, this one, where the Day family was previously living. So she has this little trailer that she can live in now. So I'm going to move them in. And here is the new house. So they're standing in the bushes here. Looks like uh, I would probably need an invisible fence <laughs> so that they don't walk into this. Uh, I think I'm going to put that in for them. Um, but yeah, also cashing twice um right so they have a little bit of extra funds and uh, yeah i'm gonna see how far i can get with this or if i'm gonna have to take out more loans which i really hope i won't have to <laughs> but you never know um interestingly enough uh, it is the correct day and uh, season because, yeah, I think that is because the day family left on that day as well. But in my experience, that tends to reset later. So, yeah, I'm going to have to see if that sticks. <laughs> but the time shouldn't be 8 in the morning. It should be like maybe 16. All right. Yeah, but I'm just going to start by doing my best to um, furnish this house. And let's see how far we come. I think the biggest challenge with the renovating, or well, furnishing, I suppose, this house was that I had another family living in it so recently. <laughs> I still had the layout and the furnishings of the day family in mind when looking at this house, very fresh in my memory. So I had to make some very drastic changes to the color scheme and textures of uh, the house to try to make it more to Lilith's tastes. Uh, it was a lot of soft pastel colors in before and yeah, that's just not Lilith in the least. Uh, so I put in some very, very dark <laughs> colors like blacks, the carpets, and I switched around the um, hue of these uh, paneled walls. So it's um, yeah, 
a dark blue anyway. <laughs> so that changed it out a bit and of course um, black tiling in the bathroom. The windows are still kept red but I think that that matches pretty well with uh, the black style that I picked for her. And um, yeah, I um, also try to keep it very minimal because she has a very small budget after all and I didn't want to add in um, much more funds than she already had to, to make things uh, more aesthetic. Um, I might do that in yeah, the coming episodes with Lilith, depending on how much money she earns and, and such. Uh, but I'm also not sure how long she'll be living in this house either. Um, it is a small starter home after all, and uh, yeah, Lilith's story could go in a number of ways after all. Um, even I don't know <laughs> yet exactly where she'll end up. It all depends on how things yeah, turn out and yeah, what uh, different opportunities she gets moving forward. So at first I started out with this kitchen being still sort of the open layout that the Day family had as well. But then I decided to close the living room up instead to make that a separate room. And uh, I think that that made it a lot better. Uh, I <laughs> have a personal grudge against that um, cook hood because there's also a shadow behind it. And uh, even though it looks pretty cool to have it like free hanging from the roof, um, it also casts that shadow in the middle of uh, the air, <laughs> so it doesn't really make sense. So that's why I prefer to have it with a wall behind it instead. And uh, I tried to put the table somewhere other than where the Day family had it, but in the end I, I put it back <laughs> where they had it, because that's just where it makes the most sense, I think. Um, also taking into account that I wanted to have a high chair at the table, and that takes out up a lot of space so yeah I went for the most logical path <laughs> and yeah I really enjoyed to have that um, more enclosed living room space for Lilith to have her instruments in as well I think that uh, for her it makes sense to have a dedicated space where she can play her instruments and uh, maybe not shut herself in uh, to not disturb her daughter but because there's no door <laughs> that she can close but uh, yeah, so be somewhere separate anyway. I suppose playing on her own with the, um, at least the electronic keyboard she could use headphones <laughs> when she plays. And uh, surprisingly Lilith also had a, uh, an electric guitar in her inventory. I don't know where that came from, uh, but I decided to sell it. At first I thought I would squeeze it in somewhere, but uh, yeah, decided against it. <laughs> it's such a small house after all. And, I thought it was better to prioritize things such as lights <laughs> and the wardrobe. I actually also um, gave her one catching, so she had one extra 1000 simoleons. And yeah, I just felt like she received too little money from um, Ophelia's household. So yeah, I decided to just do that because I wanted her to have lights in their house. And I ended up also putting in um, a small cacti cactus <laughs> in the corner of the wardrobe and uh, yeah that's something that I really liked because that's something that she picked up from Ophelia I think. Ophelia loves cactuses. <laughs> All right so I'm pretty sure that's the house furnished. They do have this little garden out here that was uh, used to be Benjamin's um, so I think that Lilith is just gonna slowly let it die. <laughs> I don't think she's very interested in maintaining that. Um, she has this want locked in to have five best friends, but she has gotten have three best friends, so I assume that she has very few of them, so I'm gonna lock in that one first instead. And yeah, of course their needs are uh, reset here now that they're in the new house, so I think I'm just gonna bring at least the energy down a little bit. Um... Hope can be like this, I think. She could have had a nap recently. Um, I'm gonna lock this for... Um, oh, it's already locked for pets, I think. And this is already locked for La household only. So I don't have to do anything with that, actually. Perfect. Right. So in that case, I think that um, they can go inside. 
or hmm, they can enjoy the, some of the afternoon sun out here in their garden. Lilith is apparently sick. Uh, okay. There was an error with the visitors. I think it might have been that I tried to ban Rod Humble and the game didn't like it. <laughs> so I don't know if maybe it's that. Um, but yeah, they can enjoy the um, autumn sun out here and uh, work some on um, Hope's walking skills. So I think that um, having moved here is sort of a mixed bag of different feelings for Lilith because uh, she's finally standing on her own two legs. So there's a lot of freedom coming from that, a lot of um, relief and a lot of responsibility and pride, I suppose. But I think there's also a lot of fear because... Um, Yeah, Lilith has not been living alone ever, actually, now that I think about it. Because when she moved to university from her parents' house, she moved in with Dirk and Ophelia. And then once she had graduated, she again moved into an apartment with Ophelia. <laughs> and then with her previous girlfriend, Lily. And then once that was over, she moved back in with Ophelia. So actually, she has never been living on her own. And now she doesn't just live on her own. She has her little daughter that she has to take care of and have responsibility over. So a lot of new things for her. Um, so yeah, I think she's um, having very mixed feelings right now. And the sun is starting to set. Uh, actually, I forgot to slow down the time. So I'm going to do that now. Um, but yeah, it's getting later. So we we'll soon have to go in. But I think she can try to finish up here before then. Oh, or so I thought. But uh, hmm, maybe not. Let's try again. Oh, oh no, she doesn't want to. <laughs> Oh, poor thing. Um, yeah, so she could eat and she could use a snuggle as well. Oh, hey, looks like Dirk is walking by. I wonder if um, I can quickly have her greet him. She didn't have time to catch his dog, but uh, I mean, if he's walking by, of course, she would want to say hi, right? How is their relationship doing? So they have slipped away from each other a bit. Um, he wants to give her a back rub first thing, but I think uh, let's better just chat, catch up. Looks like they started to talk about the family party and now they're chatting about sports, I suppose. Or children, actually. Yeah, so they both, both are parents now. Dirk uh, doesn't know who Hope's father is, though. That's not something that Lilith has uh, confided in him. But yeah, uh, Hope is uh, calling for attention back here. So I think that Lilith is just going to say goodbye to Dirk. It was nice seeing him by chance. And uh, he'll have to come visit sometime. And uh, let's bring Hope to the chair and give her some food. Oh, what now? Oh, she needs to cough. Okay. <laughs> Great. So they're settling into the kitchen. And um, while Lilith is um, giving Hope her dinner and thinking about making something for herself as well, there's going to be uh, someone coming over. And that is uh, Andrea Cormier. Rick is... Uh, older sister. She is coming over um, with a housewarming gift. And um, yeah, she's gonna ring the doorbell.
All right, so the guests have just left, and um, yeah, <laughs> things certainly haven't turned out the way that Lilith thought they would, but uh, somehow this also brings her a lot of relief. There's been a lot of things that's been plaguing her for a long time, and even though she's terrified of what Angela will say if she finds out, which seems pretty likely, especially after this, but... There's also some um, sense of relief that now it's out of her hands. Now now she doesn't have to have things on her conscience anymore. And uh, she can actually consider how she would tell Angela if she's going to tell her. And um, yeah, also the rest of her family. It's possible that she could try to uh, reach out to Jennifer first, explain the whole situation, and then perhaps get some help with breaking the news to Angela. These kinds of things is what's running through her head right now after all of this. Um, but reconnecting with Ricky was also a good thing, I think, because even before they became intimate, they were very good friends. So that's uh, something that's been missing in her life now, I think. And um, yeah, this is a day of new starts for Lilith, really. Um, and I think that a lot of good things can come from this. So little Hope is of course in her bed, sleeping. So Lilith has um, the rest of the evening to herself. Of course she can't leave the house because she still has to look after her daughter. But uh, I think that she's gonna sit down in her living room by her piano and compose some music. Now that she has some um, alone time and a lot to think about, I think that is pretty soothing for her as an artist. Of course, something else that Lilith has been considering for a very long time and been trying to work on with Ophelia is that she wants to start her own band. And um, Lilith is definitely the composer between the two of them. Uh, Ophelia learns all of her songs, <laughs> but rarely writes anything on her own. It's really Lilith who's doing all that work. And I think that with all of the things that's happened today and all of the new starts of everything uh, the new house and um, everything going on now I think that Lilith has found some new wind in her sails to really um, make something out of this and um, go in wholeheartedly in it and I think that she is going to want to um, quit her job at the record store I think it has the time has come for that um, and that she's going to want to go on all in <laughs> with the band. Um, but of course, she needs to have this job still until she does have something that brings in some money because playing at weddings just isn't going to cut it. She's going to have to um, find a group to play with and then um, hold performances somewhere. And she's going to have to try to figure that out. And of course, um, she has already uh, met a third bandmate, possibly, and that is Adriana. She is, um, let me think, what instrument is hers? I think it might be the bass. That's the one that she plays. I know for sure that it is the guitar, but of course we have uh, both Lilith and Ophelia playing the guitar and the keyboard, so... They would need a bass player and a drum player. Um, so I think that first things first for Lilith is that she's going to have to figure out the band. And uh, I think that she wants to reach out to Adriana to see what she thinks. But then she's also going to have to find a fourth band member. And um, yeah, I think that she's going to think about like putting up posters something hold editions and things like that so i think that's something that she has in her head right now that she um interrupted herself <laughs> composing music but uh, as she's sitting here alone um trying to think about the next steps in her life yeah it looks like lilith has had enough of that and um i think i'm gonna uh, i hope it's still sleeping uh, she's still pretty tired and it's late as well. 
They think that Lilith is gonna take a um, hot bath. Oh, she got out immediately. What's wrong now? Coughing again. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again then. Hopefully she gets uh, well again when she sleeps. Yeah, similarly to her twin sister, Lilith has had a lot of bad luck when it comes to romantic partners. And looking at her um, prospects right now, um, of course she's still the most attracted to Ricky, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and uh, the third in the row is um, Lily, her um, previous girlfriend. So that's pretty much a lost cause now as well, seeing as she's found a new partner. She's apparently pretty attracted to Oliver Bertino, but he has other girls in mind, so I don't think that's <laughs> gonna happen either. We have uh, Mike Newby, who's a romance sim and uh, quite a lot younger than her, um, and is also a little bit not technically related, but almost, so <laughs> I don't really think that's a good, good opportunity for her. Then she has some older men and women here. Uh, she has a burglar, <laughs> um, which could be interesting. And she also has Adriana, who already has a boyfriend. They have been flirting a bit, though, um, which is interesting. Because Adriana is a secondary romance sim, so yeah, she's been into that. So who knows what happens when if they start playing in the band together. And after that, it's Gabriel Bachelor, who's uh, similarly to Mike, a lot younger than her. And um, I mean, technically, it could work, I suppose, um, if they got to know each other better. But uh, right now, they're not in the same uh, sphere of friends. Randy is uh, married <laughs> happily, and the Goofy is also too old. Uh, and then it's um, Zachary, who's. Um, her sister's boyfriend right now. Yeah, you can see that she is not happy with Christopher and that was because she flirted with his girlfriend. So <laughs> looks like she got a bit butt hurt over that. <laughs> and yeah, of course, she's still attracted as well to, to Dirk. But um, yeah, he's also happily married. So I don't think that that is uh, interesting to him at all right now. And that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, N no one who is like the perfect match for her, I'd say, uh, maybe she meets some new people, maybe that can change, but, uh, yeah, for now it's, um, not looking very good for her. <laughs> so we're going to have to see what happens. All right. But that concludes, um, uh, Lilith's episode. And this concludes also, um, Pleasant to you Wednesday. And we're going to move over to Thursday. So I'm going to be playing through the families that are remaining. There's going to be some um, birthdays and things. But I'm going to do some sort of a um, wrap up and um, short walkthrough of what happened in the start of uh, the next episode. That's going to be the first episode of Thursday. So yeah, it's going to see how things turn out. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode and uh, all of the episodes that have been going through Wednesday. And um, yeah, see you for Thursday next time. Take care. Bye.